Hello, welcome back. I am in a new, completely new place. I think this is the first time. No, I, I filmed part of my vlog, I guess, here, but I'm in Scotland now. Yeah, after my, after the last video, I got a couple of questions from people being like, I ha we haven't seen your husband recently. <laughs> or where's your husband? Why is he not with you? Uh, is he going with you? Where? What happened? So let's talk about that. Um, basically, <sighs> a lot happened. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I need to like preface by saying that it's we have spent a lot of our relationship apart um, just because we're an international couple. Um, and when we started dating, dating, we lived in different countries. So it's not like unusual for us to be long distance. It's not unusual for us to be apart. Uh, we're kind of like familiar with that. But obviously now it's a little different <laughs> uh, because we have been living together for a few years and we have been spending a lot of time together. And obviously there's a baby coming. So we would want to be together, but life doesn't work that way. I, the plan always was, was that I would um, come by myself, fly by myself to here um, for, you know, like spend some time with my family uh, on my own. And then uh, the plan is that he would stay in our old house where he was until like close to my due date. And then he would, you know, finish the, the lease, um, finish like renting there, prepare, like move to another house that would be the house that our baby moves into um, and get everything ready. And then he would travel to here, be here for the birth of the baby. Probably he would, either he could stay and travel back with me or he would go back, you know, and get everything organized. And then I would travel back. But everything changed when he got um, called and told that he's starting a new job in a new city. The company that he works for told him, like, in a f three days, you have to be in a different city um, to start a new job. So we had to, like, as you saw in another earlier video, pack up and move out of our house, like, in just one or two days. And um, that meant that yeah the plan has changed so he now probably will not be here for the birth of the baby which is so sad for me um it's hard enough to be going through the end part of the pregnancy without him because i want him to be involved and i want him to be to see like what's happening and to you know be with me but that's not possible um and i would hope i'm still like hoping for a miracle that he will be able to um be here for the birth <clears throat> somehow maybe that his company would let him come but it just doesn't seem like it's gonna happen so probably the other this plan b would be that he can't come from the birth but he would be able to come to meet the baby um within the first few months um and potentially like take me back with him uh if that's not possible then yeah we're gonna wait have to wait until the baby is a few months old for me to travel to mexico you know with the baby before he gets a chance to meet them which would suck it breaks my heart, the idea that um, he won't get to meet his baby and the baby won't get to meet their dad. But we're both very independent and self-sufficient people. Um, we've both lived on our own and um, lived apart. So it's not, we cope fine being apart. You know, I miss him and he misses me, but we, we cope fine. Like we're, we can take care of ourselves really well. I don't like, I'm not crying every day about it. I, I'm like, I have to just get on with life. Um, so 
yeah, when we were deciding what to do, you know, I could have changed my plans and stayed with him and went to the new city with him and, you know, chose to give birth in Mexico. But we would have been far away from any of our friends and family, um, especially mine. And, you know, it's expensive to have a baby in Mexico in the hospital there. Um, so that would have been potentially difficult. And especially to, for me to, you know, my Spanish isn't perfect. So if anything was going wrong, I wouldn't understand what's happening. Um, and yeah, to be far away from my family at that time when I'm like trying to give birth would have been too stressful for me. Um, and, you know, he could have said no to this transfer for his job, but it would have sent his career back a huge amount. Um, and he's worked so hard and has taken so much time to get to the point that he's at now that it just, it would be such a waste of that time <laughs> and work and effort for him to, at the very last hurdle, say, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, it would just, it, it would, like the last few years would have been a waste. So, um, yeah, we made the decision that as much as it sucks, not to be together and not to be able to support each other and enjoy each other's like successes and, and these big moments for each other. Um, obviously for him to be there to support me in my pregnancy and in labor and for me to support him in his career, his starting a new job. Um, we would love to be there for each other and help each other through that. But yeah, we just made the decision that for now it's better to be separate. In an ideal world we wouldn't have had to make that, make that decision but it's life and that's one of the things about being an uh, international couple is that sometimes you have to be apart but I, I, whatever happens you know his, I wish the best for him and his career um, so I'm glad that he is getting to make that decision and make that take that step and not have to sacrifice what he's worked for um and I know that he wishes me all the best for the the pregnancy and labor and that he you know um is supporting me from afar um it's just we're you know we're still very much in love we're still very much together we're still very much supporting each other just not from the same country <laughs> Um, for now. In, yeah, a few months after I've recovered from the birth, I will go back to Mexico and we will continue our life together. Um, but for now we're apart and I'm trying to enjoy that time. I'm trying to make the most of that time. I'm trying to enjoy the fact that I get to spend a lot of time with my family who I love and I never get to spend time with them. So, um, I'm trying to really like look at the positive side of it not be too sad about it um but yeah that's basically what's going on i for now we're separate i'm alone he's alone and we're just doing our own thing we're taking care of ourselves and focusing on our own situations our own moments my focus is me my health and the baby and his focus is him his health and his career um and that's what works for us that's um the decision that we came to uh, individually and as a couple that it's best if we separate and focus on ourselves and not have to worry about what is happening with the other person um so i don't know if that's um maybe some people think that's strange <laughs> to do that to choose that but um like i said we're independent we're self-sufficient um if i had to do it completely alone even if my family weren't here uh, that would, I could still do it, you know, and I know that he, he is doing that, he is completely alone, and he's still doing, it. so, um, because that's just life, <laughs> so yeah, I hope that answers some questions and explains things, um, yeah, but I, I look forward to when we are together again, I look forward to him hopefully coming here, or at least when I go there, we could be together, as a little family, I think that'll be great. But in the time being, 
I'm happy to be home with my family and eating my Scottish food and enjoying Scottish life. And I'm going to try and make more videos about that. So yeah, thank you so much. Take care, stay safe. See you soon.